on the roof. A little frog that lives in uh, by Daffy. There he is. He usually lives beside Daffy, but where we've been building. We put him in here. He's been here for like a week eating all the flies. And so I've now set him up a little home. So let me try and grab him. He's a jumper, he's a wild frog. But he's been next to Daffy for almost two years now. I want him to get home. Hello, little one. And he can stay there for now. And when Daffy's thing's complete, he can go back and live in his little corner. All right, Daff. Your BFF. In the plant pot. In the plant pot, Missy. Need some goldies? I'm coming. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Almost there with the roof. We've got the plant part done. We just need to do this bit of roof. Crush your nose. Come and help, miss. Come and help. Wild frog, you have a new little area to go live in. There you go, dude. There you go. Enjoy. Daff, don't eat him, please. Please don't eat him. Fresh filter, fresh pond. Happy boy. Bye, froggy. So, guys. It's done, a week and a half, pretty much, of work, um, and it has been created. Uh, Jay, oh, give me this. That's the man there. He's the man behind all the work. Slave labor. Well, slave labor, he's the, he's the brick man. Um, I did do quite a bit of labor as well, to be fair. Um, just my labor was more behind the scenes, prepping stuff, wasn't it? By the way, if the garden's a tip, 
It's because we've literally just finished. This will get cleared this weekend. Um, but I'll give you a quick tour. So you can you'll spot little bits that need doing that needs to be painted. But this is a little uh, plant potter that we're decide, we're going to be planting some nice plants in. Uh, roof sign. You'll notice a bit of the timber still showing. That's because we haven't decided quite yet whether we're going to put a bead on the outside or whether we're just going to paint it black to merge with the shed. Uh, well, sorry, with the roof. Um, there will also be a gutter put at the front here for when it rains and then at the end of the gutter there'll be a tube which will go straight down into this which is Daffy's filter uh, and it will just fill up his pond so we're recycling that, that rain water. Um, if we go around this way, I'll give the camera back to Jay. So if we go around this way, you've got the front of it, you've got uh, a path. Um, I'm aware that, again, I didn't catch my like, recording of the actual painting and decor of the inside. I apologize for that. It is just paint. Uh, I to forget the camera. And a lot of the stuff I did do is not on camera. Well, 90% of what I did is not on camera. Just me sitting down whilst he built. So we're going. This door is eventually going to get cut in half to make a barn door. Uh, so we can open it up and have more ventilation in the summer. We come in. This is the interior for now. So we've got power in here. There's a few bits we need to do in terms of power. Uh, to, I think today we're going to be drilling the hole um, in the bottom there. We've got some like grommets that we can wire it through. That's the main power source. It obviously powers. Um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I was saying. So the power is going to be coming through there. The power obviously um, powers Daffy's thing. It will also power this fan. Um, we we'll probably at some point may put an extractor fan in here if we think it needs it. Uh, for like um, humidity and for extra heat. Oil, small oil heater will be in here for the winter. If you look up, we've insulated the roof um, with the same stuff that Adam from TA Exotics is in his shed. This is doing really well for stopping because that roof is black and it absorbs a lot of heat. But we're gonna board this up with um, uh, hardboard so you, it'll be a nice flush roof. Get a nice light in here. Another layer of insulation. Another layer of insulation. This is all we've got here at the moment. But this is not where it's going to be. So the wheels need to be taken off of this. Only this one has a reservoir at the moment. It, a lot of work still needs to be done in here. Um, but this is our rodents. So here's some of our, our lovely females. Hello, lovelies. Enjoying your new home. They've been in here now for two days and they're doing really, really well. Um, so we've got rats and mice. But next Saturday we have our... Um, I don't know if the camera makes this place look small or big. It is quite big. It's a 10 by 8 foot room which is bigger than our exhibit room upstairs but the wood that we've got coming next Saturday will allow us to build this entire wall so it'll be this design um, from these ones however there'll be one unit that goes along the whole thing it'll be six tall by six wide giving us 36 slots and this will be the main breeding wall for the rodents this side here will only really be where we'll eventually we'll add one more is the plan so we'll have four stacks here they will be separate units um, and it'll breed like the so it will have one and a half possibly colonies of mice. We're probably going to do a couple colonies of African soft birds, and then we'll have two racks left and dedicated to maternity mums for the rodents. For, for sorry, for the rats, they're all rodents, but for the rats, um, just to keep pinkies going. But I'll go into a lot more detail about how we breed them, you know, what how we, you know, size colonies we keep, how we well, how we raise our rats basically in an upcoming video um, and that will tell us what well, that will highlight exactly how we do it we'll do the time lapse of the interior the finishing off the interior but i wanted to share that with you now thank you so much for bearing with us i know we've been very very quiet recently on social media general instagram we haven't uploaded on youtube in a while but this is the reason why hope you enjoyed that video anyone out there who's thinking of doing something similar hope it showed some insight gives some ideas of how you could do it um, finish off with this because I will get locked in here. Um, so if you come inside, Jay, what I've done is um, we've made a little pull string, which lifts it from the inside. So in case I ever get locked inside, once we have the barn door, that won't be a problem. But for now, I will get locked in here because the wind will blow it and I'll get locked and be like, help, while Jay's at work. So I can just pull string it and release me. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. We'll be back to normal, hopefully, with content, etc. from today. Um, again, thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for bearing with us. And until the next video, guys, we'll see. Oh, next video will be exciting, I promise you. It until will. The <laughs> until the next video, we'll see you then. Bye.